Very Happy good. Halloween. Uh, you won't want to go out anywhere because there's a storm coming, isn't there? There is, yes. Uh, tomorrow, Storm Aidan is on the way. I'll talk about that in the forecast. But first, your pictures. Andy Patterson photographed windsurfers making the most of the blustery weather in Mudderford. Sue Ellis took this. Well, we all recognise that, don't we? Puddles everywhere. Burriton on the South Downs, that is. We saw some quite heavy rainfall at times during the course of today and some fairly blustery conditions as well. Storm Aidan is set to arrive tomorrow. That's named by Met Erin, the Irish Met Service. Wet and windy, so we are going to see a band of rain move through and fairly squally conditions. Further rain is possible overnight tonight. Fairly patchy in nature, moving northwards and clearing most places. But then the breeze will develop from the south or the southwest. And we could, down towards the south and west, see wind gusts of up to 50 miles per hour. Elsewhere, gusts are between 30 and 40 miles per hour and very mild temperatures despite all the cloud lows of 13 to 14 degrees so we start the day tomorrow maybe with some brightness first thing but a good deal of cloud as well and once this rain band moves through eastwards we'll see the winds really pick up in speed gusts along the coast of 60 miles per hour inland 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts and then some brighter spells through the afternoon so finally some sunshine but still very gusty winds gusts are between 40 to 50 miles per hour now down towards parts of Dorset we could see wind gusts of 60 to 65 miles per hour and there areas west of Dorchester you could um, have some really quite squally conditions which is why the Met Office have a wind warning in place from 6am tomorrow morning until 9pm tomorrow evening. As we head through the day tomorrow on the inshore waters from midday tomorrow until midday on Sunday the winds are south or southwest 5 to 7 increasing to gale 8 at times and the sea stage is rough occasionally very rough. Now, once that rain band clears through tomorrow, we are expect expecting clear skies initially tomorrow night and then further cloud with further outbreaks of rain or showers during the early hours of Sunday morning. Once again, temperatures will be fairly high with lows of 9 to 11 degrees. So quite a cloudy and a damp start to the day on Sunday. Sunday will see showers from this weather feature moving north and eastwards across the region, as well as fairly blustery winds as well. There may be some brightness, particularly down towards the south and east, but generally lots of places We'll have a lot of cloud during the day with some outbreaks of rain. Mild conditions over the weekend with storm Aidan tomorrow. Next week, we may have some frosts overnight and it will be mainly dry and sunny Wednesday through to Friday. Sally. Sunshine, sunshine. Yes. Now, they're an ancient religious order founded in the 13th century, but a community of 23 nuns in Arundel have achieved that most 21st century of ambitions. They've shot straight to the top of the music charts. The Paul Clares of Arundel community are somewhat bemused to find themselves at the top of the classical charts for their album, Light for the World. Sean Killick went along to meet them.